Thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, thank you to our witnesses, um, everyone, um, but especially Ms. Plus. Um, you uh, demonstrate that which Chairman Cummings uh, often said, and that is to turn your pain into purpose, and we thank you for that. I uh, especially want to thank Attorney General Mara Healy, uh, my AG from Massachusetts. Thank you for being a pace setter. Thank you for your leadership in this fight to hold the Sackler family accountable. You have been a beacon of hope for so many uh, in our district and throughout the country. This is a personal issue uh, for millions of families. It does not just affect the person battling uh, this substance use disorder. It, the destabilization, the pain, the trauma um, is pervasive. It affects whole families and entire communities. And it's just simply not enough for the Sackler family to offer empty apologies while their, pocket, while their pockets are full. The billions of dollars they raked in by exploiting opioid addiction should be reinvested in those whose lives were decimated by their precise, intentional, and immoral actions. As we discuss reforms to exact accountability for America's opioid crisis, we must remember that the work of restorative justice and healing is critical. Now, as has been recounted throughout this hearing, unfortunately, the Sacklers are using Purdue's bankruptcy to shield themselves from liability. They are predators. They are cowards, plain and simple. And if successful, their shameful efforts will deprive communities of billions of dollars in much needed relief and recourse. Now, I want to just pick up on that, um, the need for, for restoration, Attorney General Healy. Uh, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you've launched a number of initiatives to address the hurt and harm caused by the opioid epidemic, including the Opioid Recovery and Remediation Fund, which benefits community organizations in Roxbury and other parts of my district. And I'll uh, elevate in my recent visit at the Dimmock Community Health Center, uh, which I know you've been to uh, many times. Uh, we were going over the state's numbers. And in fact, there's been a 69% increase in opioid overdose among Black men. Devastating. So could you just speak, um, how could the Sacklers withdrawal of funds affect the Commonwealth's ability to invest in services that would address the harm caused by the opioid crisis? Well, it's wonderful to see you, Congresswoman, and I thank you for your advocacy. I thank you for always standing strong for the families and, and for the services that they need. And one of the things you were very supportive of was this idea that here in Massachusetts, any recoveries we get from our investigations or litigations, we're gonna put right into treatment because we don't have the treatment resources that we need right now to deal with what has been a growing crisis. You're right, the numbers are worse this year than last year and disproportionately so for populations of color Black men in particular, you cited here in Massachusetts, that's a trend nationwide. So I thank you for that support. And I want you to know that my colleagues and I share the view that if we are going to get the resources and, and take from the Sacklers what they profit, uh, pocketed through, through what we in the business say, ill-gotten gains, right? That's how they made their money. We get that money, it's gonna go towards treatment. It's gonna to go to a treatment in our communities for our families. And it's gonna be done equitably and also addressing the real uh, racial disparities too that, that, we can, that we see now growing exponentially in our communities that are, that are very concerning. But that's, that's from the heart. That's where, that's, where all the, that's where all the AGs are in terms of, of, of how this money would be used because we know that we don't have the treatment options right now for people who are currently diseased and sick and dying in our communities. We need to save lives as we hold more people accountable. Thank you, Madam Attorney General. Thank you for, for getting it. Um, thank you for launching the Opioid Recovery and Remediation Fund. Um, you know, the Sackler family, again, their apologies are empty. Their pockets uh, remain full. Uh, they have prioritized profit over people. Uh, and we thank you and, uh, and your cohorts for your commitment, uh, both in ensuring accountability, uh, but in making the necessary investments that will support the recovery and the healing uh, for the many uh, who were um, exploited and who've lost their lives and continue to struggle. 
Thank you, and I yield back. Yields back. Before 